Hot takes. Internet reacts to weird staging of Camilla's CNN interview and hawking Tim Waltz. There's been a lot of people bashing it so far. Um, I mean, she she just can't help it but come off as inauthentic. I was going to try to um, uh, play it live myself here and, and do a live um, do a live podcast reacting to it. But, you know, uh, CNN, you had to log in and all these other things. It was just by the time I finally got it together, it was already the interview was already off and running and stuff. So I didn't get a chance to uh, do my live reactions. But um, we're going to talk about some of some of it now. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. Um, also, follow me on X and uh, Instagram as well. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the Red States, Bob Hogg, a hoge. Um, he reports that, well... Wonders will never cease. Camilla Harris actually sat for a formal interview. Of course, it wasn't live. <laughs> it was taped, and it was conducted by a friendly face in CNN's Dana Bash. And the to the interview was actually only 18 minutes. They cut so much out of it. But word was that she she was she she was at um CNN like for about six hours. So she was there like conducting the interview for about six hours. Whatever happened, it, it must must have been so terrible that they edited did, edited did, sorry I can't get the word out edited it down to uh, uh, to eighteen minutes. So I mean, she, uh, it must have been really bad. But meanwhile, the VP needed uh, the comfort blanket of her running mate and emotional support governor, Minnesota Tim Waltz, just to get through it. Many subjects were discussed, and to be fair, Bash actually asked her some pointed questions on her frequent flip-flopping, but the internet had a field day with something uh, simpler, the staging. Namely, Camilla appeared to get the child seat while Waltz looked like he was, um, was Hager sitting next to her. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Bob said, okay, uh, first point it First pointed out pointed out this um, Roxanne Hoge. I guess that's his wife, or hog. I guess this is his wife or whatnot. Uh, first pointed this out. Uh, Harris looked absolutely dwarfed by Waltz in the setup. Who, who allowed this to happen? Right. People are already questioning her. People are already calling her weak and you know cackling Camilla and stuff like that. You are now, and they wanted they want to have a sit. They wanted to have the debate both of her and Trump sitting down so Trump wouldn't tower over her, but yet y'all will have her sitting like this. My better, he, he goes on to say, my better half pointed out that it looked like they ran out of adult chairs. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. It, no, she does look kind of low there, but I, I don't know. I don't think it really looks that bad. But Know how you go back to school night and the teacher doesn't have enough adult size chairs. So uh, mom takes the, the uh, kinder chair. That's what happened here. <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, it, I mean, it ain't too, too bad, though. Well, often producers will supply cushions for height challenge guests so they don't look tiny compared to the other uh, people on camera. This would have been the obvious move in this case, especially as Harris is trying to portray gravity and strength and the capacity to excel in the most powerful job in the world. When a short actor is playing an action star, they'll sometimes put him up on a, a, a apple box or choose flattering angles. It's not that complicated. Yeah, I mean, we, we all know how short uh, Tom Cruise really is. But, you know, if you watch him in the movies, he never really looked that short. Uh, um, Perilous Peg said, who's the campaign manager that thought the dirty dishes in the background? Camilla looking like a little girl and blending in uh, to the background. And Tim Waltz in the power seat was a good look for a first presidential candidate interview. Someone hates Camilla. Oh, yeah, from this angle, you can really see it now. That first angle, I didn't really think it was that bad. But looking right here, <laughs> you could definitely, it, it definitely, she looks like 
a, a, a kid. But well, maybe she's slouching. Oh, so no. She looks she looks bad. It looks bad. <laughs> I didn't think it looked that bad at first. But meanwhile, her answers were small as well. Oh, I didn't know we had a clip here. Let me grab my my headphones. But um you got uh Town Hall, they posted this they, on X. They said Camilla Harris kicked off her first interview with yet another word salad. So let's check that out here. Here we go. Way here in Georgia, you have less time to make your case to voters than any candidate in modern American history. The voters are really eager to hear what your plans are. If you are elected, what would you do on day one in the White House? Well, there are a number of things. I will tell you, first and foremost, one of my highest priorities is to do what we can to support and strengthen the middle class. Um, when I look at the aspirations, the goals, the ambitions of the American people, I think that um, people are ready for a new way forward um, in a way that generations of Americans have been fueled by, by hope and by optimism. I think, sadly, in the last decade, um, we have had in the former president someone who has really been pushing an agenda and an environment that is about diminishing um, the character and the strength of who we are as Americans, uh, really dividing our nation. And I think people are ready to turn the page on that. So what would you do day one? Day one, it's going to be about, one, implementing my plan for what I call an opportunity economy. I've already laid out a number of um, proposals in that regard, no, which did. include what we're going to do to bring down um, the cost of everyday goods, what we're going to do to invest in America's small businesses, what we're how she, she says she laid it out. When did she lay out how she's going to bring down these costs? She has it. The cost that she <laughs> made worse through um, signing the IRA. I, I, I don't know what she's talking about here going to do to invest in families, for example, extending the child tax credit to $6,000 for families for the first. Something that she bit from Trump, extending the tax credit, something she bit from Trump, not her own idea. Year of their child's life to help them buy a car seat, to help them buy baby clothes, a crib. Um, there's the work that we're going to do that is about. In <laughs> to help them buy a car seat or a baby seat to help them. <laughs> Help them buy pampers. To... <laughs> like, what is she talking about right now? Investing in the American family around affordable housing, a big issue in our country right now. So there are a number of things on day one. What about you? I mean, if she really doesn't have much to say, she could try to keep it concise. But when she don't know how to do that. She'll ramble on about something like that. <laughs> because she has nothing else to say. But Red State will have much more on this interview coming up. Um, but the uh, the early reviews are not good. Senator Mer uh, Melissa Melendez said, Pardon the interruption, but I'm watching Harris give her interview. Can someone get me an iced tea to go with the word salad she's serving? <laughs> Yeah, it, it it was I mean, it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't great either. Um and and this doesn't look good at all. I didn't even notice it at first, but this does not this is not a good look. This does not display power. Um when she was answering the questions a lot, she looked down like I thought she I thought she had like a notepad or something she was reading from cuz she kept looking down when she was answering the questions. Like uh she just does not bold confidence uh she, uh she does not display confidence and and you can't be a world leader you know you can't go sit down and talk to people like like putin and kim jong-il and, and don't have any any confidence and can't really articulate what you're trying to what you're trying to um what you're trying to say it's not gonna work but y'all let me know what y'all think about this leave your comments down below like, share, subscribe, and check out JJTheCycletherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.